I do Pinterest for my nails. That's like the only yeah. thing I use Pinterest for. You're so good. And I don't ever do nails. anything to my nails because I'm so. Oh, I go get them done. I can't. Oh, touch so you bring them. the design yeah. with you? Yeah. Oh, I thought you were like really. Like, I wish. I wish. Yeah, I can barely paint one color straight on my left hand. I'm like a design. What? Don't you do designs on your nails? Talking about girl stuff. Welcome to SourceFed. Is that good? Yeah, you nailed it. Yes, I'm Nikki Philippi. I'm Elliot Morgan. I'm Mike Turney. Ooh, I feel so special. Yeah, you did. I it. Really good. I opened it. Excellent job. This is Do you the want show. To, uh, we discuss your topics that you yeah. submit using the hashtag Table Talk. Nikki, please. Nikki, okay. you're our guest. Go for it. I'm just, I feel so special. It could be today. any of them. Okay. Not that one. Let's hope it's not a video game one, or my answer will be exactly the same as last time, <laughs> and it will be Mario Kart. Okay, uh, ready? N A. All right, what is the worst? Oh, this is Ben jamming on my guitar. It's a pretty good one. Nice, man. What is the worst slash most awkward first impression you have made when meeting someone? Uh, it was the first time anybody ever recognized me in public, and it was close. So close. Uh, it was in an elevator, and it was at a museum, and he recognized me, and he leaned over to me in a crowded elevator, and he said, Love you on source fed. And I turned around and I said, Me? <laughs> and I didn't understand proper etiquette of how to talk to people, let alone somebody who recognized me. So I said, Thank you. And then we rode the elevator down together and we parted ways and we walked side by side for about 10 minutes to our cars <laughs> with neither of us saying anything. Is it weird that this whole story just gave me like a skeeved out feeling? Yeah, I don't no. even think it's a skeevy story, totally. but the way you told it, I was like, what? It's terrible. No, it's terrible. It was a really horrible oh. experience, and I regret it to this day because I wish I would have been less weird, but oh, I was geez. I was just like caught in the headlights. And, oh. So, yeah. That's yeah. Weird. I don't, I can't think of like a really terrible first impression that I've made on, I'm sure I've made a lot of them. I feel like maybe when I go to therapy later today, I'm gonna be like, oh, I gotta uh, talk about all these things. That girl there. Nikki was in today. <laughs> like I said, you go to therapy, you're gonna ask your therapist. Yeah. Yeah. Well, can you look back through the notes and see if I mentioned a yeah. time that I gave Aww. somebody like a bad first impression? Well, I, I wanna go through the notes and just be like, Do you, was like my first impression, your first impression oh. of me? <laughs> was it weird <laughs> or awkward? Do you have notes on it? Can you explain it? it? Uh, Please. Help me uh, out a lot. What yeah. about you? Anything? Yeah, dude, I have a bad one. Actually, at first when we read it, I was like, I don't know. Sometimes you read these questions and you're like, quick, think of something. Yeah, yeah. that's what yeah. I'm doing yeah. right now. But it just came to me. And there is actually a slight chance this girl might watch this, and Dan was there for this. <laughs> this is pretty bad. So we lived in Singapore about three, four years ago, and I was working for Universal Studios. And the first day that we got there, they were taking us all out for a tour. So we were supposed to go down to the MRT, which is like the train area. And we were all going, and all of a sudden everyone's like, hey, they're like, where's Laura, who was this Australian girl? And we were like, oh, we gotta wait for Laura. So it really wasn't that big of a deal, but we're all waiting there, waiting for maybe like five, 10 minutes. And then Laura comes running up the hill, and she's like, hey guys, I'm so sorry. And I turn around, and I was like, yeah, thanks for making us all wait. It's not a big deal or anything. Like super sarcastic, and she looks at me, and she goes, <laughs> oh and my she starts God. sobbing. And she runs up front, I was like, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. And I ran up to her and she just like stayed really close to her friend. She was like, it's not a big deal, it's not a big deal. But like, was she yeah, it's real? actually not funny because she was really crying. Oh. And I was like, I can't believe I really made her cry. But there must have been other things that led up I to that, I think that right? she was late because she was stressed. Was and so she was obviously on. on edge. I like to think there was nothing going yeah, on but I was just crazy. Just, <laughs> I just made her a mess. Yeah. It was pretty embarrassing though. I actually, I don't think I've ever, ever given anyone like an immediate cry reaction in my entire life. Like, that's good. That's a notch in the belt for sure. Yeah, yeah. I was. Uh, that was actually the demise of me being as. I used to be way more sarcastic. Oh. So now I'm not oh, as sarcastic. You're a I more feel cautious. like yeah. yeah, like you. Sometimes you do that. I feel like I've done that with fans. Yeah. Like they'll say <laughs> hi and I'll be like, "It's fine. We're not having a day or anything." And they're like, "Sorry." And I'm like, "No, no, 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 I'm kidding. no, I'm yeah. kidding." Oh, I've done that. That's probably. Uh, like me. I've done that with casting Most directors and auditions. I've said like oh. really sarcastic things, and they've been like, "What?" Oh no. <laughs> they've been like. <laughs> I meant sincerity. Yeah. That's what I meant. I'm sorry. I Once apologize. in an audition, someone was like, Can you sound more like a scientist? And I was like, Could you give a dumber note? But then he <gasps> didn't think it was funny. Oh. <laughs> and I was like, That's I'm not going to get the Alienware gift guide this year. Okay, <laughs> now I get it. Thank you. No. Thank you very much. Thank you. I would have laughed. <laughs> Thank that was you. Good. Yeah. I did it again like a scientist. Yes. Yeah, I'm like, What, what is this? I should have just walked out and been like, well, This is, never this is not a good fit. Um, this is a cool username over on Reddit, Tall Redditor. Good for you. 
That's great, man. Oh. If you had your own country and won a gold medal at the Olympics, what existing song would be your national anthem to be played when you received your medal? <gasps> oh, so you get like I got it. any song to be like when they raise the flag? Yeah. Well, what's it, what's get on your feet by Gloria Stefan for figure skating. <laughs> That's my answer. I feel Wait. like you. I feel like you're solving like a clue. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I get it. It's so Mr. Plum in the. <laughs> Wait, so that's what you want, like, when they're study. raising your flag? Yeah, uh -huh. that's what you want the flag to be pink with three hearts across it and glitter around the edges. You're still from the U.S. <laughs> You're like, screw that. Glitter. 50 stars. Gonna <laughs> take that out. I want glitter. Wait, I thought we had to make up our own country. Isn't that what it says? Uh, it says if you had your own country. Oh, excuse me. Listening skills. Oh, I'm not getting this either. Okay, them. I'm just yeah, gonna. That's the, that's the sport them. you want. Yeah. <laughs> you want listening Reading skills. comprehension. Exactly. Uh, if I had my own country and I won something, I'd be like, oh my gosh, I won something. This is great. And I'd probably be the only person living in my country because it's not gonna, it's going to be a pretty sweet country, but I'm not going to let anybody else in there. Oh. My wife and my dog. And when the flag goes up, that's just my face. It's just going to be a picture oh. of my, like a very oh. cheap leaf. And it's going to be one of those old-timey flags that are shaped like a pennant, you know? Oh. I got it all figured nice. out, guys. Are you going to be smiling, frowning, or are you going to be like... Oh, I'm going to be straight smiling, because I'm a happy guy. It's going to just be like... But you don't want anyone in your country. <laughs> but you're a happy guy. Yeah, it's yeah. going to be like the dopey, like... What yeah. would your song be? My country. Um, I would say, you know what? I've been listening to... I, you know what I started listening to today? What? Freaking uh, Hoodie Allen's uh, Famous for Assholes song. So I would I would play that, I think. Hoodie it's got Allen's a cool beat song. to it. It's like that. This is the beat. It's really nice. Oh, yeah. Exactly yeah. like that. Um, I don't know this song. That would be like the silver and bronze people would be doing. <laughs> yeah, uh, they'd be all. Like, and you would just be, yeah, you'd just Or be. Uh, Childish Gambino, uh, uh, We Ain't Them is one of, another one of my favorite songs. I don't know that do either. That. Or Churches, been listening to a lot of them, but that'd be really weird because it'd be like, Prog Rock in the Olympics. <laughs> <laughs> See, like, my, if I had a song, I want to pick Deer Hunter because they're my favorite band, but it's, I mean, they wouldn't be... Like they would be like prog rock, like yeah. you can't. It's, nobody's so gonna it's like be rock like and art house type. rock. Right. Like, gotcha. oh, My dad's great. a deer hunter. So I've been on this really very nice. This. I've, I've been on this very it. serious Katy Perry kick lately. So she's I'm great. Obsessed. Yeah, I love her. What song? So last Friday night would probably be like my. Oh, last Friday night. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. Be oh, on my flag was we raised. talked about Katy last time I, I was love here. Katy, yeah. Katy cats. Okay. Um, and my flag would just be a corgi face on it. That's and a pretty you good one too. Come to my oh, country. Yeah. Can I come to your country? Yeah, and I just be corgis everywhere. I just want to set up an embassy in your country. Yeah, you can leave your wife who's allergic, and then you can come to the. I just want to say for the record, everyone is welcome in my country. I just wanted to That's throw really that. sweet. Oh, my country's really better than everyone's country. So. Your economy's gonna suck. <laughs> oh, I tried. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so that's good. What about your flag? Oh, Corgi. Or you yeah. said it. Got it. Yep. Corgi. What a weird question. Okay, wait, I'm glad you <laughs> redeemed yourself. I don't even yourself. think the question <laughs> asked about flags. We all just like devoted yeah. into flag talk. Um, Greendale Com College says, Nice. What are sounds you absolutely can't stand? A knife on a glass plate. Oh, really? Oh, chewing. I, mean, I, will we just chew. Whoa. Whoa. I will never be eating around you. I will not. Uh, I chew really loud. Styrofoam being removed from cardboard, I think, is probably the worst oh, sound. Uh, mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, I can't, like, any sort of, like, mouth noises, I they make me want to vomit. So yeah. I always, like, silently, like, thank the universe whenever I'm dating someone and they don't chew loud, and I'm like... I love you even more. Have you ever You're the one for me? <laughs> have you ever like dated somebody or had like a partner or a friend or whatever? If you're watching it, they're like Oh man, I know someone that does that noise. Oh, Twenty four hours a day, three hundred and sixty five days a year I didn't mean to in his sleep. Okay, my husband. Relationship All day, every day. So my question has been answered, yes. What about uh, you wouldn't date I them? I would obviously, not. I would probably so. I'd probably be like a, <clears throat> doing it again. So. Yeah. Just there you go. Like, oh, I'm like gonna stop to it for sure. <laughs> Tiffany, we have these like cocktail stop. straws in our that we'll put into our cocktails, and uh, Tiffany had to take the straw every once in a while. She just sit there and go like, ah. I'm like, you gotta, uh, you, so you gotta, gotta not stop do that, that anymore. And then she's like, oh, sorry, to have it. And then like five minutes later, she's like, oh, always during House of Cards, we're just that oh. nail biting. <laughs> I would not kidding. I would take the straw and I would throw it across mm -hmm. the room. Just I stomp believe. it like a, yeah. like a cartoon. Yeah. <laughs> Shut up! I believe you. I believe you get really mad. Yeah. No, but I wouldn't get mad, but I'd be like, we got to talk about this. I've, yeah. I've discovered recently, I guess, like as I'm aging or whatever, and I've been kind of sick, so maybe that's it. But Tiffany was saying that I snore like constantly now, uh, like really bad. Mm -hmm. And so she's gotten to where she has to like shake me. 
and she told me this. I was like, I have no recollection of you doing this. And then the next night after she told me, sure enough, I like got woken up with Tiffany being like, you've got to <laughs> stop. Yeah. So I'm far more annoying than yeah. she is. Really? Like, like snoring doesn't well. bother me. Really? really? Well, yeah, at this all. is pretty bad. This is I think, like, like, if I'm, it ever wakes bad. me up, I just like, I just like, yep, here we go. Oh, on our side, better? Okay. Oh, really? so you just yeah. move them I just gently. move them, yeah. And uh, then I go back to sleep. I go like this. You're snoring. Stop snoring. That's what, yeah, that's I, hit, I hit him. I yeah. learned the hard way that people are able to pretend they're conscious when they're not. Oh. <laughs> I do. Kevin oh. is great at just being like, yep, sorry about that. I'll just uh, <laughs> no problem. And I'm like, yeah. do you remember when we talked about that? Oh, yeah, so about yeah. Yeah, 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 so about that. Then I'm like, just trying to have no big deal. Sorry, love. Oh. Yeah. Bip, bip, cheerio. Uh, I'm actually uh, dead in my brain right <laughs> now, but... And has but no clue. Hey. Yeah, dances. Yeah, yeah, what? I was? Sorry. Uh huh. And then he was going back over. It's a very similar. Not like Chip Cheerio, but yeah, close. Fine. I get it. I get it, man. Aww. <laughs> that was like the weirdest eyeline on the camera. <laughs> I get it. I just look like I'm staring at Meg's arm. I'm st I you get are. it, dude. I Thank get you. it. Uh huh. Thanks, All right. Sparkles. I love it. Is it my. I think so. Elliot, you haven't picked one. I did. You picked the flag. I took the flag one. It's all you. Oh, it's me again, guys. All right. Does the negative sign, does that mean that's Reddit? Is that what that means? I believe so. Mm -hmm. Okay, so from Reddit, we have Cakes9. Recommend a TV slash, or TV sl show, slow. TV show Community. slash movie slash band that you like that isn't crazy popular. Community. The Deer Hunter. Uh, the Deer Hunter. Never heard of that. D-E-A-R, it's important. There's another one that's D-E-E-R, they're not good. Really? D E A R. Wait, D E A R Hunter. Yeah, is good. What channel is it on? No, it's a band. Oh, it's a band because they said TV movie. They on the music channel. They on the music. <laughs> they do uh, the music. What's the difference between Deer Hunter and Deer Hunter? Yeah, D E E R is like I think more of like a harder rock band. Mm -hmm. I don't really listen. I've just heard like one or two of their songs and they sucked. But D E A R is like I guess I would call them art house rock, which okay. is such a pretentious thing to call a band. But they're uh, fantastic. He just did a symphony. Like this, the guy, lead singer Casey cool. Crescenzo, was like crazy musically talented. That's Isn't awesome. this the person that you said, or the band that would be doing your national anthem? Yeah, that you just mentioned? I would like for them to do my national anthem, but I think Katy Perry's a little catchier. Sorry, Casey. <laughs> so so close though. <laughs> Shots fired. <by. laughs> I feel like I'm way too. I don't know what the word is. Like I don't know if it's. I don't know. I feel like everything I like, people already know about. Yeah. That's you know? okay. I feel like there's like this assumption in life that like you gotta like things that are indie and that people don't know about. It's totally okay if you just like, like things mainstream. That people... yeah. You yeah. know what I like that I don't. I mean, it's mainstream because I think it's like an NBC show. But I don't. Whenever I ask people if they watch this, they're like, I don't watch that show. And it's actually really, really good if you actually sit down and watch it. Is Parks and Rec? Yeah. Yeah. It's a good show because you think it's gonna be like The Office. It looks like it's just gonna be like the same. And no offense to The Office, because I like The Office, but it doesn't really go anywhere. It stays within The Office. But what Amy Poehler is doing with Parks and Rec is she's actually taking it somewhere. So all these characters are like developing and she's getting into like politics. So I think that's a really good show if you give it a chance. But if you just watch one episode and give up, then it just seems kind of stupid. Totally, mm -hmm. I 100% agree. That's a very good recommendation for anybody out there who hasn't taken the time to watch Parks and Rec. Thanks. It's wonderful. It's and wonderful. And piggybacking on the television comedy, uh, train. I mentioned Community, of course, but something that I've been watching constantly that I think is the funniest thing ever is Kroll Show on Comedy Central. Oh! Not, now, everybody, like, you recognize Nick Kroll, and not yeah. a lot of people watch the show. Holy crap, you gotta watch the show. I We sit there, I giggle like a schoolgirl the <laughs> really? entire time. Every sketch cracks me up, and I don't know what it is about it. It's like, it's so not even, it's not like trying too hard to be funny. It's yeah. just like off the wall humor. A lot like how Parks and Rec yeah. does. But man, but sketch and not. Yeah. Music. Oh, isn't so Nick Cole, didn't, isn't he in Parks and Rec? Doesn't he play that douche character? Like they literally call, yeah, he's he shaking his head, yes. So I know who you're talking about. Yeah. The show looks really funny. He's got the big lips. Yeah. He's yeah, great. He's funny. Bobby he's funny Bottle on Parks and Rec. Oh, it's yeah. just, it's solid. Here. Oh, and then music wise, I don't know. I mentioned churches. You can check them out if you want. It's spelled with a V though, so I think it's pronounced churches. 
Okay, I didn't give a music answer, and this, but this is my music answer, but once again, seriously mainstream is Lord. I've been liking her because I've got these young girls working for me, and Cammy, who's only 18, which is eight years younger than me, she's like, you have to listen to Lord, and I'm like, I don't even really like Royals that much, but I started listening to the album, and now I'm like really into it. Yeah, and I like sing it randomly in the shower. Nice. It's really good. And when the sun's going down, and you play your Glory music. Glory and Gore, it's a really yes, good song. it's really good. <laughs> so, yeah. My TV but, recommendation would have to be Bob's Burgers. I haven't watched Bob Burgers. It's good. Apparently, I look a lot like one of the main characters, though. So where is this show on? It's on Fox. Okay. But it, it's animated. Okay. Um, and the guy who I like plays true for animated. <laughs> animated. Um, and the guy who plays the wife, Linda, he had a bunch of YouTube videos that were hilarious. Oh. Uh, and he got cast using the same character from his YouTube videos. So. Oh, that he kind of a cool little fact. A little YouTube. Yeah. yeah. All right. Is that it? Oh, you're pulling another one. I say we do one more. There's I'm a down. Good one and a really crumply one. I don't do like the folding one. Yeah, the crumply one. one upsets me. Yeah, that's bothered me. Yeah, get rid of that. Did man. I compliment your watch last time I was here? Because I really like it. Thank you. I You're appreciate welcome. That. You're welcome. I like it. It tells the time and the date. And everything. Oh man, oh. That's so cool. It's water resistant. I wash my hands. Is it really? Oh, nice. Oh, that's really nice. nice. It is very Pretty convenient. Cool, right? Yeah, I, I, I'm not gonna tell you what brand it is. Guess. Guess. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Hubba Bubba Overlord said, you're an evil genius. How would you go about taking over the world? Oh, man. Control the main points of supply. And <laughs> 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 like, uh, I was literally just saying this to my supply. dad that like when I watch House of Cards, I'm like blown away because I'm like, who thinks of this? So I guess I would just keep watching House of Cards and then just copy just House take of notes, Cards. Basically. Yeah, because yeah. I can't think of that stuff. I don't know. I'd be like, I don't know. Try to control the internet, but I don't even think that's a very good answer. You never control the internet. Buy exactly. Apple. Ah. Oh. Uh, it's I very would, serious. Maybe. Uh. <laughs> He's like, that's it. Yeah. No, I'm starting I'm to Apple. have. I don't want to veer too off too far, but I'm starting to have House of Cards dreams because I've been oh. watching it so much lately. Yeah, those are not good dreams. That's how come they want you to do the binge watching thing because it like infiltrates your psyche to the yeah. point of not being able to escape. It's, <sighs> it, I, all I remember is last night in my dream, I was sleeping with Kevin Spacey. It didn't actually happen in the dream, but good. I just oh, knew good. that I had, and I was running from the government, and I ended up in a pool. I don't know, all right. but a house of cards is A true. lot of house of cards have been watched at your house. Oil. Oh. oh. Right. Well, how about wind that's an energy? Educated answer. Like, that's an educated clean, answer like, too. Nope. What? No, I want to take over the world, not save the world. Oh. I'm going to foil. Yes, because he's an evil genius. Yeah. Don't be confused. Oh. I'm not a yeah, green genius. Yeah. I'm not a green genius. <laughs> what if I that like? That was good. Right. See what I did? Uh -huh. Can I get like a warhead? Can I take over a warhead somewhere and then threaten the earth with it? I got candy? You can do that. <laughs> <laughs> I have a war that is very You watch out. a poorly planned plan. <laughs> watch how many I can put in my mouth. Did like, anyone do that in school? Put like a billion yeah. of them in your mouth? You'd be like, I can fit seven in my mouth without crying. Now I'm getting so old that I'm like, that sounds dangerous. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was thinking like, oh my god, the inside of your mouth is oh. going to be so raw. Yeah, <laughs> we would do that. I thought it was so cool. I could fit like six cool. or seven. It's I have this really it's ugly so twitch when things are sour. Like everybody likes uh. scrunches, but like one of my eyes closes all weird. So I was always, I was always like, yeah, warheads, and then I would like cover, cover my face. face. So Don't look, look at my eye. Next time we do truth <laughs> or dare, you guys know what to offer. It literally is like, ah. it becomes that, one of those. Worst stuff. Um, guys, if you were an evil genius and you wanted to take over the world, can you please mm. tell us how you would do it in the comment section down below? But before you give us your dissertation on world domination, <laughs> be sure to click that like button, subscribe to the channel if you're interested, and click these annotations to see all the other great things that we here at the Franco Creative <coughs> do. Yeah. And also are check out on. Nikki Philippi at youtube.com slash Nikki, Nikki Philippi. Philippi. Wait, what's that evil thing that Dr. Evil does with his pinky? Because I feel like it's cooler if I do it because my pinkies are messed up. Whoa. Hmm. Isn't that cool? It makes a Y. Oh, wow. Does he go, meh, yeah. what does he, he say? Mr. His... Bigglesworth, what is that? That's his cat's name, but he's, he says $1 million. Oh, $1 million. 